What's up, homies? It is your homegirl, Natalie, and today, late as always, but I'm giving you my Valentine's Day outfits. Now, this time, I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some scenarios. We're going off of that. Yes, I brought the green screen out again. Some outfits might have a background, some others might not. It was a little bit difficult to find the backgrounds, um, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do what I can. Uh, this is just supposed to be, you know, like a fun, happy little video. I feel like I'm always just so close on time. I really hope next year when I do this video that I'll do it like two weeks ahead of Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what was your favorite outfit. Let me know what are your plans, okay? My plans for Valentine's Day is nothing for the actual day, but I am doing a Valentine's Day thing with my friends, so I'm really excited for that. Um, and yeah, that's it. Bye! Our first scenario, a Parisian picnic in front of the Eiffel Tower. We go out for a stroll around the Centro Histórico de Cusco, you know, cute little dinner date, Southern France. Now these are all great suggestions, but where we're going, y'all, is a little bit different, a little bit far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Shrek Swamp, but not really though, um, because you know, they go to far, far away. But okay, so let's talk about the outfit. I wanted this outfit to be more of a casual Valentine's Day look. It's also a compromise of patterns and colors that you can easily recreate with your wardrobe. I was definitely inspired from the Paris suggestion, so you know I had to start off with a beret, and I paired it with a long polka dotted dress. The white mules also go with it. The key pieces for this look is the red sweater and the heart earrings. It's really easy just to put on any red accent onto an outfit, and voila, it is now Valentine's Day ready. <laughs> this next look I put into two parts, the chilling at home Valentine's Day and then someone asked for a Valentine's at home because they're pregnant so I'm gonna do my best at that. For the first look, if you're staying home and just chilling, to me wearing comfy clothes is obviously the way to go, but for Valentine's Day I probably suggest wearing matching PJs with your significant other. I think that would be really cute. These PJs are from Uniqlo, they're like my second skin and not only are they so comfy but they look really cool. So let's address my baby bump. It's a round pillow, obviously. <laughs> so I wanted to wear something cute, but also flowy as I would just be around my house. This is a great type of dress to wear if you're pregnant because it'll just wrap at the top of your belly. All right, we're going fancy now. This scenario from Andrea Camisao is perfect and I had to show it in some form. She says the typical scene, the heir of a rich family falls in love with you and you need to meet his family. So you already know, I had to pop out this beautiful, beautiful thrifted dress. I'm showing you the full body shot right now. Before I take you to the scene, I had a lot of K-drama suggestions for locations, but I actually went for a Japanese one, the iconic Hanaroi Dango. Oh, there I am. Oh my God, look. Yo, tell me, did you also root for Rui? This is so awkward to watch. <laughs> oh, he got mad. He got mad. <laughs> oh my god. No, he's not. Oh, oh. The boys are fighting over me, y'all. The boys. I can't. <laughs> watch the watch the end to see the bloopers. Where is my Oscar? <laughs> okay, next scenario, cold. Okay, so I separated this into two outfits. With the first one, I wanted the outfit point to be the coat. If you're walking outside for a while, in this case, walking around Narnia, hey, <laughs> you gotta make sure you at least have one super cute coat. From there, throw in your accessories. For me, it was a scarf and earmuffs. Oh, and wear the appropriate shoes. For Narnia, I thought some long knee-high boots would definitely do the trick. I did wear this with a dress underneath, so that means Uniqlo Heat Tech tights, under leggings, and Heat Tech shirts are a must. For the dress, I did some pattern clashing with the polka dots and this mesh turtleneck underneath. Now, if you're doing something like ice skating, let's go on to the next one. We made it to the Sailor Moon universe and we're going skiing. Obviously, this isn't a skiing outfit, but if you need an outfit that you're going to be wearing outside for a long time, this outfit is it. I wanted to focus more on the coat again, so I wore a puffer coat and paired it with this huge hat that I bought in Peru. Now, to highlight the coat, I wore an all monochromatic look. For my pants, I wore these corduroy ones that will add in an extra layer of protection from the cold, along with a nice, thick, chunky sweater. Better. Layering is definitely your friend here, so tights, heat tech stuff, and chunky socks will be good to have on. 
We're going so low, low, low on this look, <laughs> taking yourself out on a date, going to a cute cafe and movie by yourself or going to an art museum. Whenever I go out exploring the city by myself, I always want to look cute. So taking myself out on a date should be extra special. It's a time where, you know, I want to show up for me and wear something that makes me feel good. So to me, wearing this huge, big red dress for Valentine's Day would be so nice. I look cute and I can eat as much as I want and not have to worry about anything restricting my stomach. I'm also wearing this fun headband that makes me think of a tiara so i really feel like a princess now i've only been on two dates but going to dinner and a concert as a date would be so much fun and the artists we're going to be seeing together is iconic iconic uh, but i only give the best for you so let's check it out Yes, I got us tickets to see Isabella in Lizzie McGuire. Okay, okay, on to the outfit. So I would want to wear something that I can easily dance in. So high-waisted pants and a crop top is definitely that. Also, concerts don't run super late unless it's like a local band or DJ. So I would want to wear something that would work for like the post-concert drinks at a bar or something. What you wear to a concert can also depend on what artist you're going to see. Like imagine if you and your date rolled up in like a light cosplay of that artist. Wouldn't that be so much fun? For the first date looks, it's all revolving around one main piece and then style three different ways. We have our high school, college, Valentine's Day look, then the grown-up casual, and the grown-up dress-up version. <laughs> the inspiration for these looks is this situation. You have a Tinder date, so you want to look put together, but kind of effortless. Starting with our high school, college look, we have our main piece, this jumpsuit. It's something you can easily dress up or down. This one is from And the Other Stories, and I love that it's a soft purple. It's not like, bam, Valentine's Day, wear pink and everything, but it's still a fun color to wear for the occasion. I think just wearing a fun pair of earrings and colorful sneakers is the way to go. Now to dress it more casual and grown up, I wore a thick chunky cardigan and black combat boots. Revolving your outfit around one piece like this makes this process of selecting your outfit go by super quickly. Here all I did was just pick neutral colors of black and cream to put this together. Lastly, the I'm going out for dinner and drinks look, the oversized blazer will automatically dress this jumpsuit up and pop on your favorite pair of heels and you're ready to go. Ultimately, when you're going on a first date, you want to wear something that you feel 100% confident in so you can 100% relax and just be your amazing self. The Valentine's Day look. I made two outfits for this, like a cutesy pink one and another cute neutral look. Now, a lot of people requested that I use Euphoria as a background. I don't know much about this show, but a quick YouTube search got me this scene. From what I saw, it was very intense. It's not like, yay friends, but I'm trying to give you all what you want. For this look, I just layered as much pink as I could for my wardrobe. I wore a pink dress, my pink leopard blazer, pink pom-poms, and trying to keep to the material source, my cream cowboy boots, so I too can look like I was auditioning for Oklahoma. I think if you're just going to meet up with your friends, have fun and go all out. Why not, right? But if you're not about that, then let's go meet up with the Sailor Scouts. There's nothing I love more than a slightly flare fitted dress. It just checks all the right boxes. This one, I actually did a third flip on. You could click up on the right to check out that video. Since we're going with all neutrals, I just wore my cowboy boots and my cream bag and kept it simple with just some hoop earrings. Our last scenario, and most definitely the hardest one, an outfit that screams Valentine's Day without any red, pink, or white. Extra points if you don't use hearts. That's, you're asking a lot of me, homie. I asked for your help on Instagram for this one, and it was suggested to use the Valentine's Day sweetheart colors. You guys are geniuses. This one is definitely one of my favorites of the bunch. I didn't use any green screen because I was wearing green and yellow here. But anyways, the main piece I used to style this outfit is this House of Sunny cardigan, which is currently on sale on from the lobby, by the way. I was worried that my outfit was going to look more like Easter to Valentine's, but because these colors are a bit bolder, it totally worked. So that is it for this video, homies. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and now here's me breaking character. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay. Bye guys. Happy Valentine's, Galentine's, Friendship Day. I'll see you guys in the next one.